All right, so a circle or some other figure can circumscribe another figure, uh, like a triangle, or a uh, circle could be inscribed within another figure, like a triangle, or a triangle can be inscribed within a circle, or a triangle could circumscribe a circle. Um, so what are all the, what's this inscribe and circumscribe? What's the difference? Um, well, scribe just means to write, or you can think of it as drawing, and circum means around. Like circumnavigate the globe is to go around around the globe. Um, circum circumference the circumference of a circle is the distance around the circle. So circum think of the circum as around the outside, and then inscribe is like on the inside. So here's two situations which can be described in several different ways um, that will help make this concrete. Um, here we've got a circle that's circumscribing a triangle. It's going around the outside of the triangle. Um, which Another way to say that is uh, this triangle is being circumscribed by the circle. Um, this also means that the triangle is inscribed within the circle. Right? It's it's within the circle. Now, I should note that if we've got a circle, pretend it's a circle and we've got like some weird triangle, that does not mean the circle is circumscribing that triangle and that does not mean the triangle is inscribed within that circle. Uh what has to happen is that um, a circle must pass through all the vertices of a polygon, in this case a triangle, to circumscribe it. So, for, so see how the circle passes through all three vertices, all three corners? Or likewise, if a circle is circumscribing a square, sorry, that should be a square, that circle actually has to connect with all four vertices, all four corners of that polygon a two-dimensional closed figure bounded by stray lines, right? Um, so for a square to be inscribed within a circle, um, its 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 vertices have to touch the circle. Uh, likewise, for a circle to be inscribed within a triangle, uh, all three sides of that triangle have to be tangent to the circle. Right. So they have to touch the circle at just one point. Right. So there's some very specific criteria that have to be met before anything can be counted as being inscribed within something or circumscribing something. All right. So, again, so this circle is circumscribing this triangle. It's going around the outside, and it's touching all three vertices of this triangle. Uh, another way of saying that is this triangle is being circumscribed by the circle. Uh, and because of that, this triangle is inscribed within the circle. Right? Here we have a triangle circumscribing a circle. This triangle is drawn so that it goes on the outside of the circle and it's circumscribing it because all three of those lines uh, line segments, all three sides, are tangent to the circle. They're touching the circle at just one point. So another way to say this is uh, this is a circle that's being circumscribed by a triangle. And that means the circle is inscribed within the triangle. Uh, the circle is drawn so that uh, it's tangent to each of the sides of the triangle.